In this video, we'll look at some of the pro features of Session Lab, which help you to save time and effort in designing your workshop. So things like multi-day sessions, breakout tracks, collaboration, and different exporting options too. Now I'm currently working on a remote problem solving workshop, and I started designing the first day of my two day session, and it's now time to plan the second day. So I can click on the add day button here, and then I can click on the overview button to get to a nice zoomed out view of my session. And it helps me to easily see and manage the different days of a multi-day workshop. I'm going to schedule a starting time for this second day at nine o'clock in the morning. And I know that I'd already like to have a warm up activity straight afterwards. So I've added a new block and I'll give it a title there as well. I can already see that the first day of my session is quite heavy. So I'm going to click and drag and drop any content from this first day into the second day just by simply clicking, dragging and dropping. And you'll see that the overall session timing for each day will automatically update correspondingly as well. Now, I want to focus the remaining part of day two on discussing team dynamics. So I'm going to load one of my previous workshop plans in this view where I remember I had a fitting team dynamics module that I'd like to use. So I'm going to search for it there, open it up next to the session. Um, and then I'd like to copy this entire group of activities into my session. So if I hold down the Alt key on Windows or the Option key on a Mac, I can click, drag and drop, and instead of moving it, that will copy it from its original location into my session rather than removing it from its original source. And then I can close off that second session and then I'm going to head back to the day view for day two. Now we've just moved this entire group of blocks into this session. Groups are used to link a series of blocks together because they're related to the same topic. And the benefit of doing this is that you can easily click, drag, drop, and move an entire group of blocks around inside your agenda, um, which keeps them all together too. Now, if I'm planning to split the audience of my session into smaller breakout groups, I can create this in my agenda by clicking on the add block button and then clicking on the breakout option there to create breakout rooms, especially useful if you have different agendas for each track in your or each room inside your breakout. I'm just going to click and drag and drop some block content into each room so you can see how you might have different rooms following different paths and how you can display the different content in there as well. Also, you have the option to create these notes, like these little yellow post-it notes. You can add any information on here that maybe isn't related to a single block in your agenda. You can choose to keep them here in your session and show them on your export or not. Now, Session Lab is a collaborative app, and although I've been working on this agenda so far myself, I'm going to invite my colleague, Christina, to join me in this session, um, and her name will pop up because I've invited her to a session before. I want to assign some editor rights to her, um, and then I'm going to send the invitation to Christina so she can come along and work on this session with me. If Christina comes online, I'll see her profile icon here circled with green to indicate her presence. And if she's currently editing any blocks, her profile image will appear just above any of the blocks, uh, which will save us from editing the same block at the same time. Um, I'm also able to assign Christina to any block in my session by clicking on the Assign To column um, and adding Christina there. Um, and if you haven't done so already, you can readjust those column sizes rather than showing just that Assign To person's name, you can choose just to show their icon. You can also tag any collaborators in any block inside your session. So I can add the add symbol and tag any collaborators. And they'll get a notification email if they have that setting turned on and a notification here in the notification centers too. Now, if you're working with any colleagues from around the world, you may like to head to the session info section where you can set a time zone for your, uh, for your session. So anyone opening this session will understand which time zone this is located in, and they can also change the display time zone just to see what time this session would run in their current location. Finally, once I've finished designing my session, I'm able to click on the export uh, button here to turn my agenda into a nicely formatted PDF printout or a Word export, or I can export to PowerPoint or copy to clipboard to paste into a virtual whiteboard tool, for example. But here, if, if I would like to keep track of my session timing while delivering my session, I can do that by clicking on the time tracker here uh, and doing this by clicking on the Start Session button, we'll begin running through the agenda and you'll be able to keep track of your progress during delivery. 
Now over to you to begin planning your next session in Session Lab like a pro.